Ljubica Petrović Niegoš was born on 23 December 1864 in Montenegro. She was the eldest child of Nicholas I of Montenegro and his wife Milena. In order to establish good neighborly relations between Serbia and Montenegro and to as a symbol of national unity, she was given the name Ljubica Zorka at baptism. She spent her childhood up to the age of 11 in Montenegro, where she was educated by a Swiss teacher, Mrs. Nikom. In 1875, Princess Orca was sent to Russia to continue her education at Smolny Institute. Prince Petar Karajorjevic, the future king of Serbia, met Princess Orca when she was just 18. After a short time, Prince Petar developed an obsession with Zorka and wanted to see her as his queen. Described as exuberant by one commentator, at just 18 years old, Zorka married Prince Petar of Serbia. The wedding celebration as well as the previous engagement was organized according to Montenegrin folk tradition with a great number of guests. They married on 1st August 1883. The invitation says by the Irish command of their majesty the king and the queen, I am pleased to announce that their loving child, her royal highness, Zorka Petrovich, will join in holy matrimony with his royal highness, Petar Karia Georgievi. I have the honor to invite you to the wedding that will be held at the king's palace. Prince Petar and Princess Zorka Travelled on their wedding day in the afternoon to Paris on their honeymoon. Princess Zorka gave birth to five children, Yelena, Milena, but she died on 1887, Georgi, Alexander and Andrea, born and died in 1890, Peter had been away on business for several weeks, and word came to Montenegro that his entourage was making their way up the mountain. Zorka, pregnant with their fifth child, was so excited she ran, fell and slipped down the stairs. Unfortunately, very soon afterward, to Peter's shock and dismay, she died in childhood, her infant son following her to the grave. She died on March 1890. The main preoccupation of Princess Zorka was to make her husband the king of Serbia. She died with the words, he will be the king, referring to Petar, which happened 13 years later. Although her life was not a long one, Prince Zorka left a big mark in history as a link between Serbia and Montenegro and as the mother of the Yugoslav king Alexander I. It was believed that Zorka was the one who made plans and decisions and not her husband. Thirteen years after her death, her father, Nicholas I, congratulated Petar on exceeding the throne of Serbia with this telegram on 6 June 1903. Our common interests and blood ties are a warrant for eternal and divisible brotherhood of Serbia and Montenegro. This brotherhood will forever remain shining, holy, unblemished and life-saving for our people. The souls of our Serbian martyrs are praying to the throne of the Almithy for this brotherhood. It will always be guarded by the angelic soul of my Zorka, your wife, whose blood and love will blind you and my sons forever.
The first monument dedicated to a woman in Serb was of Princess Sorka in 1926. The tragic death of the Princess Sorka finds its way into the world's most successful and epic Hollywood movie, Gone with the Wine. Movie director Victor Fleming was supposedly so moved by the story of Princess Orca's tragedy that it was the basis of the pivotal misfortune in the Civil War saga.